trying to get a toy. Oh, yeah, have cuts, that. man. Yeah. Last minute shopping, huh? Yeah. Enough to drive a man insane, ain't it? Myra Larrabee. Howard Langston. <laughs> See, I have to shop late because it's the busiest time of year for me. All these important Christmas letters that people send to folks they don't even talk to but once a year. Not to mention relatives sending presents they're going to have to send back anyway. How many toiletry kits does a man need? That about just little stupid letters from kids to Santa at the North Pole. Dear Santa, could you send me a bike and a slinky? No, your father's been laid off. And as if I didn't have enough pressure in my life, my son sends me out for some, like, goofy butt toy, some fruity robot named Turtle Man. It's Turtle Man. My son wants one, too. You know it's all a ploy, don't you? A ploy? Man, where have you been? Don't you watch TV? We are being set up by rich and powerful toy cartels. Oh, come no, on. No, you got these big fat cats sit there using working class just like me and you. They spend billions of dollars on TV advertisement, and then they sit there and use subliminal messages to suck your children's minds out. And I know what I'm talking about because I went to junior college for a semester and I studied psychology, so I'm right in there. I know what's going on. And then they sit there and make a kid feel like garbage if you, the father, who's working 24-7, delivering mail so you can make an alimony payment to a woman that slept with everybody at the post office but me! And then when you get the toy, it breaks and you can't fix it because it's a little cheap plastic. You know what I like to do? I like to walk up in that office, grab one of those guys, and just chuck him, and chuck him until his eye pops out. Shouldn't wear fur. Whacking your toy store, you know, I got kind of caught up in a friendly spirit of the competition. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry. But I was thinking you'd have done the same thing. And that's when I realized you and I, we're the same kind of person, ain't we? I sort of doubt that. I was thinking about that brouhaha at the toy store. I was thinking maybe, you know, we could join up as a team. You know, like, like Starsky and Hutch, uh, like Johnny Quest and Hodge, man. Like you... Bonnie and Clyde, like I can Tina. Well, maybe not I can Tina, because she left. But maybe we could do it. Search and destroy. Divide and conquer. Me and you, man, what do you say? Thanks, Myron. But no thank you. Oh, come on, man. Let's do it, man. Let's be a team. Gee, Myron, I think you're a good guy and all. But this I would like to do by myself. You understand, right? Oh, yeah, I understand you, man. I understand plenty. I know what's going on here. Mr. Mr. Wear your little fancy cashmere coat and your little nice little suede shoes. I was good enough to talk to you line, but I'm not good enough to be in your team. See, that's racism. That's what Jesse Jackson was talking about. Good news! They what got else? a late delivery of Turbo Man! That toy works! Let's go! Turbo Man! Turbo Man! <laughs> Whoa! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. We have received a small quantity of the action figure known as Turbo Man. Yeah. I am not going to ask you people to be quiet again. Do you hear me? Now, here's how things are going to work. You will form an orderly line so that an employee can hand you a numbered ball. These balls will then be drawn in a standard lottery fashion to see who gets a dollar. If you're not one of the lucky few, we have plenty of Turbo Man's faithful pet tiger booster in stock. We'll win! We'll win! He got two! Get the mailman! Why don't get him? He's lying! He's lying! You. Peace. Tis the season to be jolly. Me neither. <laughs> Maybe this will help. Oh, yeah. Look at me now. You're right. That kid's gonna need some serious therapy, man. Can't let this happen. It's just a doll. It's just a stupid little plastic doll. <laughs> That's action figure. If you're the first caller to correctly identify all eight of Santa's reindeer, you will be the winner of the hottest toy since Johnny 7 o m a It's easy. Just call 
five KQRS. You know, I don't think so, buddy. Put us all in the mood for I got the answer. this thing right. Let me in. Let me in. I got the answer. Come on. I got the answer. Yes. I got the answer. Open up. Open up. Yeah, I got a madman in my studio and uh... Help me! You're too late. I already got the right answer. I won. <laughs> yeah. I don't need the right answer to win. I got this. Now what's that? This, Mr. Trackstar, is a home man explosive device. A bomb? Yes, in layman's terms, a bomb! So back up! You built a bomb? No, I didn't have to build a bomb. Don't you read the news? Hundreds of these things come to the mail every day. I just kept one in case I ever needed it. So give me the dial! I'm gonna blow up everybody in this place! Are you out of your mind? Put this thing away. This is not worth it. Well, maybe not to you, but to me it is, so back up! Back up! Myron! Come on, old buddy. Give me the package. All right? Come on. Let's you call me, buddy? Yeah. I am not your buddy. I tried to be your teammate. I wanted to be your friend. But no! You had other plans for my levy. No, no, I had no plans. You are no different than the rest of those civilians, those common letter writers who make fun of my knee socks and my safari hat in the summer. <laughs> are you laughing at me? Huh? Oh, oh, Lord, no, no, not at all. Mr. Ponytail Man! <laughs> hey, Mr. Mailman! Like I have no silly oh, fire! Oh! It's a tank! <laughs> Sorry, I've been under pressure since the Zip Plus 4 thing. Did you call the cops? <laughs> Kinda. Just get out of here. Okay. But I'm going first, buddy! <laughs> Better luck next time, loser! Free! Hey! Hey! Hey, guys! You wouldn't want to hurt a fellow civil servant, would you? What's all this violence? It's Christmas, and I was just delivering some Christmas. Hey! Back up! This is a homemade explosive device, and I'll blow it up! You know why? Because I work for the post office, so you know I'm not stable! Tell him! This man is totally insane. Thank you! Now put the guns down. Now! Put them down! Brother man, put your gun down. Everybody! You too, Barnaby Jones! All right, just stay there. And I'll know if you move, because I have the ear of a snake. Ciao, baby. Oh, you shouldn't mess with that. Relax, Sparky. I was on the bomb squad for 10 years. That was really a bomb? Just a sick world we're living in, sick people. Oh no, kids, it's Turbo Man's arch enemy, Dementor. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Was that in the script? All right, kid, give me the dial and nobody gets hurt. Myron? That's right, Turtle Man. Thought you could outsmart me, didn't you, huh? Thought your little suit I did was so slick. But you know what? I'm one step ahead of you because I've got a bigger brain. Just through here. Come on, Myron. You're taking this too far. Hey, I'm not going home without that dial. Hey, buddy. This ain't the way we rehearsed it. You know what? Nobody likes you, Booster. Oh, wow! Boom. Come back here, my little pretty. Little doll, too. Hey, Marin! Leave gotcha. the cube alone! Ta ta, turtle man. Uh oh, life.
Eliza, it looks like Dementor has beaten Turbo Man. Oh, no, Gail. This could be the end of civilization as we know it. Do something, Turbo Man! Use your Turbo Disc! On your arm! Hey, man! I have a special delivery for you! Huh? Ha! <laughs> I'm really happy. I'm sorry about that uh, little tension we had on the roof up there. Hey, it's cool. 